So it seems fitting to start with Christine, as you're the first arts professional that these young artists first come in contact with. And we're going to begin with talking about clues to success. So I would say, have the artists that have succeeded, that you've seen succeed, go through your gallery, have had certain traits or features or certain strengths common to all of them as you've seen them carry on and throughout their career and to succeed? Absolutely. Um, what you're always looking first is just for talent. Someone who paints well, has fabulous photography, etc. But that doesn't carry someone forward. And that's something that students, especially when they're younger, because we, we have a mix of students at OCAD. We have a lot of mature students. I think about 30% of our population is mature students. So I find it's very different talking to a 19-year-old and very different talking to a 35-year-old or a 40-year-old as far as their life experience and what they bring to their education. So um, I find, especially with younger artists, um, sometimes they're already savvy about those things, like they know about having to write a great artist statement, how to, they're already thinking about how to price their work, all that sort of thing. But for the most part, that's, that's what we're there for. We're there to teach them those things. Um, and to tell them that it doesn't matter how fabulous an artist they are, it's a business. Um, if you want to do it for your own pleasure, that's great, but if you want to try to support yourself, make a name for yourself in the art world, it's very competitive, and you're going to have to learn how to write grants, and you're going to have to go out there and do legwork and visit galleries and try to find where does my work fit, and, and that's the, the business, and you have to do that. And if you don't do it, um, you just may not move forward. Uh, it, you know, sometimes students are picked up immediately by a commercial gallery. It happens less and less, though. Yeah. It's just a part of our economic times, part of the competitiveness. So, so um, usually it's something that I see develop. Usually it's the great work first, and then learning yeah. the business side as the, they go along. And the ones who I hear five years later, who are at Bogi or at uh, Little Gallery or wherever they are, those are the ones who have done done all that work and continue right. to work at it. You've got a leg up already. Absolutely. What would you say, Michael, and you're we're dealing with your peers and within your own practice yourself, have you found that the people that do well have already got a bit of a handle on, on those extra things outside of the talent itself? Yeah, um, I think uh, determination plays a large role uh, in it. Um, also, uh, determination might describe it, but it's a... Uh, a need or a compulsion to exist right. in that um, in that role, and uh, I think um, the idea of a natural, and I think there's uh, right. uh, you know talent is sometimes displayed in a natural, sometimes uh, an impressive business awareness or a cultural awareness. Um, uh, I think there's other uh, you know where they're coming from. You know what uh, what kind of community uh, they're coming from. Is there um, the possibility for a uh, sustained um, collective base to create that important foundation that can, um, as they inevitably go in and out of favor, is there uh, a support base that's organic and uh, and I think that's. Uh, uh, and that's, to some extent, uh, you know, the luck of the draw. Uh, with you know, like in every industry, you know, uh, there's so there's talent, there's uh, determination, there's um, a compulsion to to uh, to carry forward in that life. And I think there's also things that are out of our control, like um, you know, where we're coming from, uh, you know, who we can reach out to and uh, to support us and. Uh, and I think there's programs like the grant structure at the Canada Council mm -hmm. that uh, you know that are excellent supplements to that, uh, and right. in some cases are you know uh, create uh, equal foundations. Uh, right. A lifelong uh, relationship with the council is uh, very unusual, uh, whereas a lifelong relationship with the organic community that you develop is uh, sort of inevitable. Right. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think there's. Those are some of the main things that I can think of immediately. Right. Yeah. And Tian, would you say that you've noticed certain things about the artists that you've started with in a very you know, early point in their career that helps them succeed as they go? Well, I think I'd have to agree with everything Christine and, and Michael have said. Uh, talent, 
first and foremost, but talent alone isn't going to take you as far as as you want to go, presumably. Uh, drive, commitment, um, treating it like a career, treating it like a nine to five, Monday to Friday. If you put 40 hours into your career as an artist, as opposed to uh, waiting for the chips to fall and see what you get, uh, you're going to ha have a, a uh, likely a higher degree of success than than not. Um, but there are different types of success as an artist. There's you know, th there's the the artist who's commercially successful, and then there's the artist who's uh, academically successful, mm -hmm. and and there's the artist who's successful in their own opinion because they're doing they're living life how they want to live it and they're and the the work that they create is is uh, their success whether they sell it or not whether they get any attention from anybody or not is is just a different kind of success mm -hmm. so um, yeah being diligent treating it like like uh, it's what they want to do it's what they want to succeed at whatever their idea of success is and pushing it in that direction and otherwise mm -hmm. I agree with everything that both of you have had to say it's, it's I think that's I think that's a great point about the um, the uh, the personal interpretation of success and uh, yeah. and I think that's really important because yeah. all too often those other external externalities condition our interpretation of success yeah and uh, success in life is a very you know a very personal thing and I think that's yeah. a really important thanks <laughs> <laughs>